Hello everybody and welcome back to the layout. Today we're going to do a switching operation and I thought this would be a good opportunity to uh, further describe some of the aspects of the layout and some of the things that we've been working on. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take uh, BNSF 2866 uh, along with another locomotive and a caboose or they known as a shoving platform now and we're going to take a couple lumber cars down the warehouser and switch them out. So you can see we're leaving the engine track now and we'll get, get out permission to get out on the main and uh, go over to the yard. Now what we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to switch over a couple tracks as you can see to get into the yard. Uh, that cut of cars there that's behind the locomotives right now is the, the cut that we're going to get our lumber cars from. So we're backing out. Uh, again, there's the uh, shoving platform. We've got our crew member all set up there. All right, we cleared the switch, and now we're going to go ahead and move ahead once we get stopped here, and off we go. So you can see some of the detail here. Uh, this is probably one of the more complete sections of the layout, uh, with the exception of the back. The backdrop, like I said in previous video, we're, we're getting uh, backdrops printed. Uh, more of a desert scene, obviously. That's kind of what we're modeling here. All right, we're waiting for our signal indication here, and we just got it. And what we're going to do is we're going to go, we have a crossover uh, that we're going to uh, reverse into. So we do have a uh, flashing yellow over red, which means we're going to go straight through the crossover. And then uh, we'll be backing up uh, across. And then we'll, the yard throat there is uh, the second track up to the top there. Now, you notice the hills back there. I think that's kind of funny. That's obviously a mock-up. Trying to get a feel for what the hills are going to look like. That's probably nothing what it's going to look like, but uh, just wanted to throw something up there to see what it would kind of look like, and that's not the look that we're going for. So, all right, we finally knocked down the signal there. The, the block's a little bit ahead there. Now we're crossing uh, the grade crossing here. We got UPS waiting. Uh, this is a fairly busy crossing uh, that gets blocked quite a bit with our uh, yard operations. Yeah, just working on the streets. Uh, I'd like to put a uh, signal grade crossing here. Uh, so right now we just have the cross bucks and the stop sign. Working on a lot of weathering. You can see this this uh, caboose is right out of the box from Atherin. Great caboose, a uh, lot of good detail. Uh, now we're shoving over, uh, like I said, across the, the crossover here onto main track two, and now we'll be able to, now we'll be able to get into the yard to get the cars that we need. Back over the grade crossing, you see the further the far track there that goes down. That's our uh, two and a half percent grade uh, that takes you down to uh, the first level. All right, coming in here. Uh, you know, Hook up to our cut of cars here. We have the caboose set out on the main here in the yard and connecting up and we'll uh, pull out our cut of cars to get to the lumber cars. And I think of course the, the two cars that we need are at the end of this cut. So um, it's gonna be a long pull out to get these two cars. You see the engine house, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, yard office down below, uh, BLMA structure that uh, Modified a little bit, put a PNSF sign on there, painted the seat, uh, painted the roof, and uh, some of the accents, uh, being a step or a BN green, and our little uh, yard there with uh, an old sign, a bunch of signal heads, and uh, fuel trucks waiting there to uh, refuel the truck, so they'll be waiting for that. Uh, a couple other details there that uh, you can see that uh, the sign there is from, uh, I don't remember where that's from, where we get that from. Uh, anyway, I'll let you know in the, or in the uh, description where we get that sign, but they're, they're really, really cool um, signs. All right, pulling back in here, we're gonna, we're gonna shove back in. Uh, there's our two lumber cars that we're gonna need, so we'll, uh, we'll put those there with the caboose. And then, uh, detach those two lumber cars and, and put the rest of the cars back in the yard. 
you can see there's a uh, you know more ballast that needs to be done uh, the, the there's always something that needs to be done on this thing and it seems like ballast kind of uh, always there's always something to do I, I, I do like to run trains quite a bit and, and instead of doing scenery as you can tell so uh, I'll eventually get to it I think um, but the main thing was getting uh, all the track up in operation and, and, and the second thing was the the signaling system was uh, by far I mean I, I think that's the, the most exciting thing for me I'm kind of a signal geek <laughs> so I do like the signaling system and, and operating the CTC uh, operations and, and having everything work so that was one of my big priorities so now that I've got that up in operation, uh, I can focus more now on scenery, but then again, I do like the, the operations. So um, being here in California, the, um, the weather has been hot, um, but it's starting to cool down. So I'm able to get, get in the garage more often. So, all right, looks like our locomotives are, we've got it hooked up into the, uh, the train that we're going to take down. Now we're just waiting for a signal to, we're going to be heading down uh, the grade to uh, the, the bottom level and the branch line. I'm just waiting for a signal here. And then there we go. I, I, I do like these Atlas signals, or you know, some of them are BLMA, but, but same thing. We went with uh, all of these uh, Atlas signals. We seem to work really well with what we have and like I said we, we run uh, all, all the hardware digitracks with uh, with block detection and, and the signal drivers and all that stuff and, and then uh, this is all driven by uh, or the software behind is JMRI and uh, dispatcher panel is made uh, by it's a program called CATS like I described in the previous video and it's a, it's it's pretty user friendly. Uh, it was a little difficult to get set up, but there was a huge huge amount of tech support uh, available online. It was it was readily available, so I was able to to get all the help I needed to get it set up. Uh, okay, so yeah, speaking of signals here, uh, we're at, we're kind of red here, waiting for a uh, a westbound uh, stack train headed down. Looks like a little CPKC action. I don't know why it's so blurry, but I guess we're focused on the uh, locomotives here. But uh, that's kind of the fun uh, fun of it. We run this local, uh, but we do have run through trains that are that are moving quite a bit. Uh, the dispatcher sending through. So once you get your cars with the local, it takes takes a little bit to get down to uh, the actual branch line. So it, it it's a uh, it's a couple hours uh, easy now we're just switching one uh, industry today just so that uh, kind of kind of talk about each part of the layout while we're going down but um, it, it's a it's a takes a lot of time <laughs> like like the real deal so uh, yeah so we still have a couple of these little digitrack signals uh, like I was describing in the previous video uh, that we're waiting for. Uh, I'm just still waiting to get a, get a couple more of the BMA signal bridges. I think there's going to be a, uh, a signal bridge here. So you can kind of see where where I have the, the spot set up there on the right for the signal bridge. So, But for now, we have these little guys that uh, do the trick. But uh, yeah, we're, we're excited to get the new, the new signals at some point. All right, so we got a uh, red over green. We're going to be crossing over. And then heading down the um, down the down grade, and it's about a two two and a half percent grade. Uh, once we get there, and uh, I think we're going to show you, yeah. So <clears throat> here's the crossover. This is uh, we call this uh, CP Summit, even though it's not actually the highest point on the layout, but uh, we call the CP Summit for now. Uh, coming into uh, you see 4144 on the right there. That's one of the helper locomotives that we have in the helper pocket. Uh, so now we're crossed over, and uh, oh, hey, <laughs> got a got a rider there. I think he wants to ride on the outside. That's cool. <laughs> but you can see where the the helper crew goes on the d duty here at this little yard office uh, on the right. And uh, there we go. So there goes the shoving platform. Bye. And uh, we're through uh, CP Summit.
Here's another view of CP Summit, the signals on the, uh, the east end of uh, uh, Summit. You'll notice that the, the right two were uh, absolute signals and the one on the left is uh, intermediate. And this is another intermediate signal. Um, just at the top of the grade, now we're at the 2866 now, is just going down grade at this point. So like I said, two and a half percent grade. Uh, we usually run trains of about, the like run through trains are about 20 to 22 cars and uh, don't have too much of a, a difficulty pulling those up. Uh, these, the radius on this outside one that you see the train on now is about a 30 inch radius, which is the biggest we can do. Uh, just coming down the bottom of the grade, you got another intermediate signal there on the left, the searchlight. Uh, kind of playing around with the background, with the backgrounds there. So this might, this is not permanent, but this is kind of the look that we're going for. And obviously, I still need the ballast of tracks and stuff. So there's going to be some different backgrounds there, but that's kind of what it's going to look like. And obviously, the, these these walls behind it that you see here are uh, will be have a background over it. Uh, I had a red or yellow there. So at this is uh, C P Hopkins. And uh, that's uh, CP uh, West Hopkins, and you can see we're in a crossover. And uh, we're going to head down uh, down the single track main line. And uh, you can see that there's there's part of the branch line that we're going to be traversing here in just a moment once we get down to the branch line. So again, just just uh, one one industry this time. Uh, typically, when we do this, we'll service most of them. So we'll typically have about a 15 to 18 car train. Uh, still coming down here, uh, branch lines down there at the bottom left of your screen. Uh, now we're, the locals coming through the uh, <clears throat> Metrolink station, the Metrolink platform with a, uh, another stack train uh, waiting there at the red for our uh, little local to get by. And I think we'll see this train <laughs> in a little bit as it will come by. So yeah, fun little station here. Um, not a lot to it. The, the, the Metrolink stations around here are pretty basic. Not a lot. Uh, this is the switch into the branch line and as you can see it's a uh, yeah, tortoise controlled or you know dispatcher controlled or you can you can switch it on them with, with your uh, throttle. Um, now we're shoving into um, the branch. And this is why you'll see why we have the shoving platform or the caboose on this on this particular local because there is quite a, a long shove that we get we got to go to uh, to service these industries uh, on the other side of the layout. You're good for 10. And uh, yeah, a couple of uh, patch jobs here. So um, I do like the Santa Fe. So this is kind of a way to keep Santa Fe <laughs> going on the layout. Uh, this is one of the, the only operating grade crossing I have at the moment. There's a couple more that are going to be coming in, but this is the one I have hooked up so far. Uh, so there's a lot of fun. You know, those are the um, the uh, grade cross. Uh, the the uh, signals are made by um, We Honest. <laughs> I think a lot of people use those. are really cheap, uh, but they look cool. You know, I I, I like them. I, I don't. You know the, the the signs might be a little big and all that, but but for what they cost, they're they're very economical and and as you can see, work really well. Um, we just have they're just uh, hooked up to photo cells uh, underneath the, underneath the track there, so um, have no issue with them whatsoever. They like, they look good, I, I think. So uh, yeah, looks like that stack train got moving there after the local went past, so that's on the move, and we are still shoving. We've still got quite a bit to go. Um, top track, little track right there on the uh, next to the locomotive, the runaround track, and that spur coming down goes into our chemical plant. There's two two spurs that go down in the chemical plant that uh, take quite a bit of <laughs> time switching. You can see now this is <clears throat> where I've, I've spent most of my time um, just working on some details. You can see everything's just kind of set in there right now, but. Uh, you can put uh, up to four tank cars in these two spurs and then two in the other one. So, so you know, six or seven, se se uh, seven tank cars. And uh, there's our locals shoving behind there. I can see propane back there. And then 
these three spots that we have in the front can take just about any any type of chemical so um, here's our yard uh, the office for the chemical plant um, just to I haven't even detailed the building or anything like that but you kind of get the gist of what it's going to look like uh, the top there um, where that intermediate signal is out it's going to be a tunnel portal at some point um, that's just the up that track that goes up, back up to the top top deck and again it's it's that's a two and a half percent grade as well but both both of our hills are two and a half so you can see there's a door that comes into the room uh, these are removable bridge of two removable bridges that we can just we can take out if we're going to be you know working on the layout for quite a bit uh, we're going to keep ducking underneath uh, there's another grade crossing that i'm working on obviously the signals don't work there but it'll operate just like the ones you just saw and uh, a couple box cars there on the um, team track with a, uh, a loading platform that uh, gets various types of box cars and then the one uh, the spur coming down below uh, on the to the left there is a, there's a, a place called unified grocers that's usually takes reefers but gets the, the, the beer cars as well so all right, so we cut off from the shoving platform, and um, we're gonna we're gonna come into the uh, lumber facility. Uh, it's Warehouser for now. Uh, you know, again, we're, we're just kind of playing around with names uh, for everything. So, um, got a uh, CPKC <laughs> run through stack train there. So it just came that that stack train just came down grade. We'll be coming around the bottom. All right, looks like we cleared the switch. We're going to be shoving in, shoved in, pick, picked up the empty here. So you have two empties here. We're going to pull two empties and spot two loads. And again, we're just doing the lumber, uh, lumber yard today. There's uh, eight industries total that we have. And uh, we like to split that up with two different locals. That way we can we can have two locals working the branch at the same time. It's 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 a lot. It's challenging, but but makes it a lot of fun. Three to up. So um, don't use this spur too often. Um, in fact, we just put like bulkhead flats on this. Um, oh, missed the hook there. Uh, the uh, that I think that was just an empty that we had spotted over there because. With a center beam, you can't really unload the other side the way this thing's set up. So we have other loads that, that go on, the, on the bulkhead flats. So pulling the two center beams out, going across a little diamond. I, I like diamonds, you know, so I had to figure out some way to incorporate a diamond in the layout. So that's, that's how I did it. And uh, so we have, you know, we have facing point, trailing point switches on the branch. So you have to utilize... Um, the run around and, and get your train set up over there depending on um, how you know what how the this the switches face uh, for your particular industry that you're switching all right so we've got a good looks like we got a good hook there and uh we'll spot the uh spot the two loads going back across the the uh layout here i'm sorry across the uh, <laughs> the switch isn't across the diamond uh, sorry, it's a little late. We've been working on this this video for, for quite a long time today. So if I misspeak, I apologize. Um, all right, so we got two uh, loaded center beams. We're going to put so both of these center beams will be spotted on this track, and then we we uh, we'll leave a uh, space in the middle there so the uh, forklifts uh, can get around both sides on each one of them. All right, so going back across, got our two uh, empty center beams and our uh, caboose. And now we're heading across, this is the, the, one of the bridges. Uh, now right above that's the same type of bridge that's uh, just easily removable. And like I said, if we're going to be in there not running trains and um, you know, doing a lot of any, any work on the layout, we'll, we'll take those out. Uh, saves my back. And uh, so here we go, we're back. Uh, back down uh, the back down the branch there are two mains on the right there past the uh, chemical facility 
which we'll we'll uh, do switching operations there next time. That's a little more a little more involved, but uh, you know, with the different spots, we got you know six different spots there, so each car needs to go in the right spot, obviously. So coming across, um, yeah, this is a lot of fun. <laughs> having operating uh, signals uh, and I, I wish I, you know, I'd get some more time, I'll, I'll hook up the other ones, but uh, this is definitely a lot of fun to watch. You see, they operate pretty realistically. They, they, with the photo cells. I haven't had any bad luck with those as far as the lighting. I know they're sensitive to light and all that thing, but with the uh, under the, uh, the the top deck, I have a you know the LED lighting that, that goes underneath and uh, keeps enough light on those uh, photo cells to stay off until the train actually goes on. So. All right, so we have a red here uh, exiting the uh, branch line, and you can see why. We have another, another stack train coming uh, that we're going to have to wait for before, it, uh, before we get, get a green and we get out of here. So sometimes, uh, even though it, it does take a long time to switch, but then sometimes you're, you're sitting here for quite a long time uh, waiting for other trains to pass. We typically run two run through trains or operating trains uh, so we will have about four or five different operators depending on how many locals we have we have two locals and then three trains and we might have a yard job and then helper service so like i said we have that that, that grade and so uh, anything like over like 23 24 call, uh, cars on the train we'll, we'll, we'll put the helpers on and uh, push a train up, or we, we might put them on the front, just, it just depends, so uh, that's, that's pretty challenging. You can see the, the, the grade is behind all of the, um, the backdrops, so uh, we don't like to have derailments. They're, they're hard to clean up when you have the panels that we have to take off, and with the signals now and everything, all the detail work that we're putting it in, it's, it's hard to take those panels off, so we, we really would rather not have any derailments, especially back there. So it looks like our stack train's clear, and we're gonna move uh, on. So hopefully, yep, there we go. Didn't have to wait too long. So we just for wait, wait for one train, and uh, off we go. So we're gonna go again. We're gonna have to cross over, get our signal here, cross over at uh, West uh, CP Hopkins. We'll cross over there and then uh, head up the hill. Center beams. And I guess our, uh, our crewman's going to ride the rest of the way in the back, which which is pretty cool. This is an Atherin caboose we just picked up. Um, it's got the lights and sound. Um, pretty neat. Works well. Uh, so we knocked down the uh, flashing yellow there. And we got our stack train up here waiting for us because we had to cross over in front of it to get onto this track. So, so the uh, CP there is going to wait. So, and then uh, behind there is the, help, the helper engines like I was just talking about. They uh, they live up there on that little uh, little spur there. But they use quite a bit. It just depends on it just depends on what's going on with the size trains we got. And uh, now it's the, yeah, so the uh, stock train just got a green there. All right, so we are back to the yard. Uh, like I said, it's just a two-track yard. The, the two tracks behind there is more of a staging, uh, staging tracks, but, but we, we pull cars out of there as well. Uh, but the main focal point of the switching of the yard is these two tracks there, with, um, just to the right of the train right now, those, those two tracks. So the, the other train, the other was more for our run through manifest stuff. All 
right, getting back to the yard, the old SP there. It's nice to see. We're uh, in the process, obviously, of uh, weathering uh, the rolling stock and the locomotives. Uh, we're not not super good at it yet. When I say we, I mean my son and I, we're, we're the ones that, that build and operate this thing. Actually, both my sons and my wife, we all, we all kind of mess with this thing. So uh, it's just, a, you know, it takes time. But it does, it does, it is a lot nicer when the things are weathered. It looks so much better. So, um, and then we having the backgrounds on there. So I think it's gonna look pretty good uh, once we get the backgrounds put on the, on the blue uh, background out there. So, all right, so we cut our caboose off there. And uh, taking our two center beams and we'll just shove those in uh, the uh, yard track, as you can see there. And then we'll have, uh, we usually have like a hauler uh, that will come pick these cars up and run them around and then they'll end up in the, um, in the staging tracks back there. So we'll get, we'll get fresh cars in the yard uh, for switching. And then uh, all the empties will become loads again, like being like the center beams and stuff like that. So we'll, we'll switch the loads around so that uh, we can repurpose them. <laughs> back down to the branch. So going across, back across the, the crossing there, and uh, basically what we're going to do now is just make our way back to uh, the uh, engine track there at the uh, the office. And uh, we're going to cross over at uh, this is CP Preciado. Uh, so we're going to we're going to cross over here this time instead of uh, at Ortega like we did before. So we we'll wait for a signal here, and then we'll cross over. So, um, where are we getting here? Okay, so we have a red or a green, so we're clear to go. Cross over, and then we'll, we'll go forward into the track right in front of us, right in front of your screen there. And that's the switch actually for the engine track. So once we get once we get through this control point, then we'll, we'll go forward into the uh, engine track. All right, so we're back to the engine track. The crew is tired. They are ready for to get off off duty. And uh, once again, there's our uh, famous stack train in the background. I'd like to thank you all uh, for watching. Again, I really thank you for all your support and uh, liking and subscribing with the videos. Uh, it's inspirational <laughs> and like to get more of these videos out. It's a lot of fun to operate and uh, look forward to uh, doing some more. So please, again, if you can like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you again very soon. All right, thank you.